Over the past two nights, enemy patrols have reconnoitered the friendly positions to determine the location and extent of the defenses. This morning, heavy enemy pressure has caused the combat outposts to withdraw to the main defensive positions. There are now no friendly forces forward of the squad position. By this time, your squad is completely organized, ready to defend your area of responsibility. Each position has been ruggedly constructed, well camouflaged. Weapons rests and limit stakes for pre-planned grazing fire have been properly installed. Fields of fire satisfactorily cleared. Obstacles and destructive devices well in place. The supplementary positions have been dug, as well as the communication trenches between each position. The security post notifies the platoon leader of advancing enemy infantry, approximately 600 meters to their front. The platoon leader immediately requests artillery and mortar fire on the target. Upon receiving the indirect fire, the enemy deploys and moves quickly through the impact area. The fires are adjusted by one of the riflemen in the security post through the platoon leader. Teamwork pays off. Enemy indirect fires now begin blasting the defense position. The security post informs the platoon leader the enemy is approximately 400 meters to the front and still advancing. The men are ordered to rejoin their squad immediately. They return by pre-designated routes. The enemy continues his advance. He is taken under fire by the first platoon machine guns located with the first and third squads. At the same time, second squad's automatic riflemen open fire. You open fire as targets appear in your area of responsibility. This is the signal for you to commence firing final protective fires. Each soldier begins firing at a maximum effective rate. The full gas is touched off and the supporting weapons begin firing barrages. The enemy lays down a smoke screen to mask the movements of his attacking troops. Despite the smoke, you are able to continue effective fire because of the weapon's rests and stakes. Under cover of his smoke, the enemy blows a gap in the tactical wire and continues the attack.
As the enemy approaches the protective wire in second squad's area, the claymores are detonated. The claymores do not stop the enemy entirely. One group, having breached the protective wire, attempts to overrun the squad's position. You must continue your intensive fire. to recover, but the continuing intensity of your final protective fires forces him to withdraw. With the attack crushed, you quickly reorganize to meet another possible attack. You give casualties first aid and make sure they are evacuated. Key weapons of casualties are reassigned. ammunition is redistributed. Your squad has accomplished its mission against a larger force. You have seen how the defense was planned, how the position was organized, and how the members of the squad worked together as a team. Planning. Organization. Teamwork. Add a little guts and determination, and you have a combination of ingredients for which there is no substitute for achieving victory in combat.